Welcome to the In-Network Insurance Setup webinar. This webinar will go over how to set up an in-network or contracted insurance plan. We'll be going over three ways to set this up. The first way will be to track your write-offs. The second way is to not track write-offs. We'll also go over how to set up an, an in-network insurance plan where the insurance pays not a percentage, but a fixed benefit. We'll also discuss how to set up a plan-specific downgrade. PPO stands for Preferred Provider Organization. You would set up this insurance plan type when you are contractually obligated to reduce your fees as an in-network provider. Because you are en enrolled with the insurance company, you have access to a published list of fees that would be the maximum you can charge the patient. The insur insurance portion is calculated as a percentage of the published fee up to the maximum allowed by the insurance company, and the patient pays the rest. So first, we'll set up an insurance plan for tracking write-offs. This is the recommended method for setting up an in-network insurance plan. So this patient we have, Red Foreman, he is in-network. He's got an insurance plan we are in-network with. He's with Delta Dental of Oregon, and we're contractually obligated to reduce our fees. So we will choose an insurance plan type of PPO percentage and attach our in-network Delta Dental fee schedule. This is the list of published fees that we've uh, agreed to charge the patient. You can preview how to set up this type of fee schedule uh, by previewing our fee schedules webinar or by uh, reading about it on our web manual. There is an option if we click on other insurance info to first uh, have our insurance plan still calculate write-offs when we're substituting codes or downgrading. Uh, we want to have that box checked. We also have the option to not downgrade codes. For that, we would have to click the box to don't substitute codes. If we take a look at our substitution codes by clicking on the substitution codes button. By default, Open Dental assumes that all posterior composites will be downgraded to the same surface amalgam. We can change some rules about that. By default, again, it would be always, but we have several options here. So as an example, let's say this plan also downgrades all porcelain crowns. So we can click Add and choose our all porcelain crown code. And we're going to say we're going to substitute this code with, our insurance has told us it should be a 2791. But only for second molars. This may vary plan to plan, so we've included a way for you to set it up on a per plan basis. This is how we would do that. And say OK. So now this plan is downgrading all porcelain crowns on second molars as well. So how this plan functions. We'll go ahead and take a look at Red's treatment plan and update fees. So for example, this is a standard reimbursement policy. They cover 100% of exams, x-rays, cleanings, 80% of fillings, and 50% of crowns. For the complete exam, our fee is 45. Our contractual rate is $40, so we'll be writing off the difference of $25. That's listed in our discount column. Otherwise, primary insurance will pay 100% of the $40 allowed. The patient will owe zero. The calculation looks similar for all other diagnostic x-ray and preventive services. Our three surface posterior composite 
you'll notice there is an X in the sub column, meaning this particular uh, procedure is downgraded to amalgam in this case. Our fee for that procedure is 200. Insurance allows $100 of the downgraded code, so the three surface amalgam, and they pay 80% of that, so they'll cover $80. We're writing off the difference between our allowable, or our office fee rather, for the three surface posterior composite, and the insurance fee for a three surface posterior composite. We're writing off $50. It's not the difference between what we charge and they allow for the downgrade. Patient would owe the difference between the downgrade and the insurance allowable for the composite fee. So what's the other way to set up our insurance plan? We can set this same plan up to not track write-offs. It can be done. It's not generally recommended. But we would change this insurance plan type to category percentage and still attach our Delta Dental fee schedule. In this scenario, we will only be billing the patient the insurance contracted rate. So when we look at the treatment plan and update fees, you'll notice that we no longer have a discount column. And that's because in this scenario, you are instead taking the write off straight off the top instead of off the back end. So we're no longer billing the patient our UCR. <clears throat> In this example, insurance allowable fee for the comprehensive exam is $40. They will pay 100% of that. There is no patient portion. Our three surface co posterior composite, you'll notice that the insurance allowable fee is 150 but they will pay the reduced rate of $100, 80% of that. It's $80 and the patient will owe the difference. There is one other type of in-network in insurance plan. For this, we'll switch to Gordon. Gordon has an insurance that we are in-network with, so we're still obligated to reduce our fees, but rather than paying 80% of fillings, they pay 100% of a, a scheduled amount of fillings, and it's that way for all procedures. So we call that a fixed benefit plan. We'll set our plan type to PPO fixed benefit, and our attach our MetLife PPO fee schedule. So we will still be writing off the difference between our office UCR and our MetLife contracted rate. We will also be attaching a fixed benefit fee schedule. Again, for information on how to set up a fixed benefit fee schedule, you can preview our fee schedules webinar or visit the web manual page for fee schedules. In this scenario, with a PPO fixed benefit plan, all of our coverages, you'll notice here on the right of the screen, are set to 100% meaning insurance will pay 100% of this all seasons fixed fee schedule amount. So how does that look? If we look at Gordon's treatment plan, it's pretty similar to Red's and we'll update fees. Our fee for a periodic exam is $50. Our contracted rate is 30. That's the maximum insurance allowable. So we'll be writing off the difference between the 50 and the 30. So we'll be writing off $20. However, insurance will only pay a fixed rate of $24. So then patient owes the difference between that 24 and the allowed of 30. So patient owes $6. It would be the same or similar for the three surface posterior composite. Again, we'll be writing off the difference between our fee of 200 and the insurance allowable of 150. That's our $50 discount. But in this scenario, insurance only pays $30 out of that. Patient portion will be the remaining 120. 
You can view our copay fee schedule tutorial to set up an insurance plans that the patient has a copay. You can also contact support if you need help with any complex insurance plans.